So I'm out here in the garage. I'm making another SCBA lamp for a, another friend of mine. And uh, I did this one a little bit differently. So um, I didn't record most of it because I've already done a bunch of it. You know what, truthfully, I don't think I ever posted a video. So, I guess I'll run down what I do here is I'll get a light kit from Menards. And it just comes with some hardware and your, your cord and stuff. And, uh, So I took an empty SCBA bottle. I drilled a hole in the back for the cord to go through. Then the other ones I've done, I've took this entire uh, um, valve off. This one I decided I want to try to do differently. So I um, I took the valve off, but I thought I'd like to try and save it and drill through it because most of this is just aluminum the tanks aluminum and this whole valve pieces so I went through the bottom and drilled uh, a hole big enough I don't really know what size it was I was expecting it to come up through the center but that hole goes through the side here up through here right beside of it and I tried a couple different things I tried to um, the you see, it is one of them. Try to take the numbers and leave them on here and drill. And I, I goofed that one all up. And I drilled through the the center, um, whatever you want to call it, the, the pressure um, thing that tells you how much pressure. Uh, I tried to drill through the plastic, the plexi, and it worked. But um, yeah, I drilled through it. And everything worked okay. The problem is the lamp sits so far back, it, it still doesn't look right. So we're going to leave her as is. So uh, the funnest part of this task is running the cord. This is the most annoying part of this whole process. But I think I've done enough. Maybe. Maybe this time I won't have to redo it three times. So, uh, this is also the first time I'm able to use grommets. Uh, the All the other ones, I've just used um, oh, like a uh, JB Wheeled putty and sealed it that way so the wires don't get cut. I'm doing this all on the ground because well, my workbench is a mess. Ah, oh, aluminum shavings. Let's see if I can hook it with the little grabber here. This is how I've done all the others. Got this little grabber right here made for going down the sink and collecting like a, a wedding ring or a tooth or you can reach and grab something in an in the engine bay kind of blindly grabbing in here I'll shove a bunch in here and maybe I can get it to come out the front Not the easiest thing to do, but sometimes, oh, so close. Uh, 
right like that. Now usually I have to hook this lamp up at least two times because I always forget to do something. And if should be just like that. Grab this and that. I know you can't see very well. Okay. Because I have forgotten to put this on before. That's always fun. Hoping. Oop. Of course that won't fit right, so we'll have to see how we can modify it. Think of the dream bug, I can't tell which moving around too much. Okay. Do it like that. That is going to look horrible. That's not in the very tight. Well, that is in the tight. Let me that. I don't have my work pants on, so I don't have my my uh, multi tool with me. So I have to get a regular pair of pliers. Down here at the very end, but the threads don't matter. Maybe I can do this. Point where it will fit right. I do have one more little piece I can put on to kind of help, but the problem is that hole is not the right size for that piece. It's not going to fit. A couple things I can do. I can take the grinder and knock these down. You know what? I might just go ahead and do that. Cause they ain't doing no good right there anyway, so. Yeah, 
Yep, I'm gonna take the grinder and knock these two nubs down. I think it'll look better that way anyways. Okay, I cut the ears down as you can see there. That's gonna fit right down there real nice. So time to wire up the actual lamp part here. And it's not hard, it's just two little uh, screws. And this will go back down over top of it like that. So, and your nice little hook. Go over one. Make sure it's all down on the other way it's supposed to be. And we'll make and bend another little hook. Go over top the other side. Just gonna bring the hook the other way once it's lay that way. This is for one of my friends and fellow firefighters. Um, I work with them at the plant. Let's get that one under a little better. He just recently had his first baby boy, and he wants to have this for the baby's room, and I can't blame him. Can't wait to find it. Another department throwing these out. Tight. Yep, yep. Snap everything down. And that will uh, epoxy all the sin in just a minute or two. Put a grommet on that daggone thing. With my luck, it got sucked up in there. Hey, there it is. Okay. And that'll get epoxy in there too. It's just gonna look a little nicer. So, I've been using this steel stick from JB Weld. It's been doing me really good. I've been in. Take it. Just already gotta get rid of the previous hard chunk. And you're gonna mix it till it's gray. All the same kind, kind of gray. And I'm sure they want you to use gloves, but I figure it'll be just fine. I'll wash my hands in a minute. Snake thing here. Stuff it down in the hole. Holes here. Now I want to put the light down in it. That will be there. Take 
little thin bit. Squish down. A little bit of that open hole here in the front. Do it play dough it around there, and that will make a really nice seal. Take a teeny tiny bit more for this uh, plug here in the back. This stuff stinks, but it works really good. The one one of these I made for my buddy for Christmas. Um, I dropped it on the ground. Actually, I take that back. My toolbox, the crap box three thousand, fell on top of them. So, and they held up just fine. So, I, I can't imagine them you know, being that. Like I said, I, the toolbox fell on top of it, so it wasn't like it. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It did a job. Yeah. Took most of it in there. I feel better about that. I just got a little bit extra that I will leave alone. These two look good, good ways. I've used this one tube on all these lamps. And we got a nice little lamp here. in set or oh boy I do this before bulb I can't remember Now 
will be sure to leave the plastic on the shade for now. Because I don't want my hands getting all dirty. Damn epoxy, so I don't lose it. Gotta get me an extension cord here. <laughs> and that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have that flickering the fire bulb. Cure it for a couple days and I'll give it to him. So I know it's probably a pretty boring video, but thank you all for watching. Until the next video.